violent clashes popping up on a day of demonstrations here at home. Major brawls erupting in the city of Berkeley, California. Hundreds of pro and anti-Trump protesters lashing out. Police in riot gear making at least 15 arrests. And there were about 150 tax day protests demanding to see the president's tax returns, even at the president's Mar-a-Lago resort. ABC's David Wright reporting from West Palm Beach tonight. In Berkeley, California today, a melee. Violence flared between pro and anti-Trump demonstrators. A clash complete with firecrackers and pepper spray. Police in riot gear standing by. At least 15 demonstrators are now under arrest. This on a day of nationwide protests scheduled for tax day, April 15th. New York, L.A., Washington, and Chicago. In dozens of cities, protesters demanded President Trump release his tax returns. So what does your sign say? Well, you can read it. It says 75% of Americans say, release your taxes, and that's what we want Donald Trump to do. Today, they were even marching on Mar-a-Lago. He's scamming the United States. He's costing millions of dollars by coming to Mar-a-Lago every weekend to play golf. At that first debate with Hillary Clinton, Trump promised he'd eventually release his returns. I'm under a routine audit, and it'll be released, and as soon as the audit's finished, it'll be released. Later, a change of heart. He's not going to release his tax returns. We litigated this all through the election. People didn't care. They voted for him. We do care. We are here. We demand to see his taxes. But plenty of Trump supporters disagree. I think he's doing pretty good. I think you have to give him a chance. I mean, he's a rookie and he has to get used to the, the politics of the game. Once he gets used to it, I think he'll be all right. And David Wright joins us live from West Palm Beach tonight. David, did the president actually see and hear those protesters at Mar-a-Lago today? He didn't see them, but uh, he was certainly aware of them, Tom. Hundreds of demonstrators right along the route that he normally takes back from his golf course. Well, today, the motorcade took the long way around, a 10-minute detour, just to avoid running into them, Tom. David Wright reporting from West Palm Beach tonight. David, thank you.